by 2030, you're going to have a shortage of 500,000 physicians in this country. What kind of a system are we going to have where the public option expands and we have more and more patients for these doctors to take care of? Doctors like me are not going to be there to take care of you the way this is going. We need more primary care doctors and we need more surgeons to to just take care of the population that's currently being treated. If the physician is forced to spend less time with each patient in order to take care of all of the people that are out there in their waiting room, uh, then the, the quality of care is going to suffer. Another fear physicians have is that their decreasing salaries could take a huge hit from government provided reimbursements through the public option. They've already experienced this through programs like Medicaid and Medicare. In the last 10 years in the United States, physicians have gotten no increase in their reimbursement from Medicare. At the same time, there's been a 20 to 25 percent increase in what it costs a physician to, to run his practice or her practice. And as a result of that, uh, physician income has gone steadily downward which is having a negative effect on the best and the brightest uh, wanting to become physicians. If you're going to go to school and not finish your training until you're 32 years of age and work 80 hours a week, uh, there does need to be some uh, compensation for that. If you're not going to get paid for it, why go through it? Primary care physicians especially. These poor guys, they're on the battle, battlefront, taking care of these patients right off the bat. There will be a continual decrease in the um, number of students wanting to go to primary care, and that includes you know, family practitioners, pediatricians, um, psychiatrists, emergency room physicians.